Welcome to Slothful Slumber, the podcast where we transform the vast knowledge of the internet into a gentle lullaby for your mind. I'm your host, Luna Dreamwell, and I'm here to guide you on a journey to tranquility through the soothing cadence of Wikipedia articles. Each episode, we'll delve into the most wonderfully mundane and sleep-inducing topics, helping you drift off into a realm of serene dreams. So find your comfortable space, close your eyes, and let the dull hum of information carry you into a restful slumber. Now, let's embark on tonight's voyage of tranquil learning as we explore a topic so peacefully uneventful it just might whisk you away to the land of dreams. This Wikipedia article is titled Sphinx. A sphinx is a mythical creature with the head of a human the body of a lion, and the wings of an eagle. In Greek tradition, the Sphinx is a treacherous and merciless being with the head of a woman, the haunches of a lion, and the wings of a bird. According to Greek myth, she challenges those who encounter her to answer a riddle and kills and eats them when they fail to do so. This deadly version of a Sphinx appears in the myth and drama of Oedipus. In Egyptian mythology, in contrast, the Sphinx is typically depicted as a man, an androsphinx, and seen as benevolent, though with strength as ferocious as that of the Greek version. Both the Greek and Egyptian sphinxes were thought of as guardians, and statues of them often flank the entrances to temples. During the Renaissance, the Sphinx enjoyed a major revival in European decorative art. During this period, images of the Sphinx were initially similar to the ancient Egyptian version. But when later exported to other cultures, the Sphinx was often conceived of quite differently, partly due to varied translations of descriptions of the originals, and partly through the evolution of the concept as it was integrated into other cultural traditions. However, depictions of the Sphinx are generally associated with grand architectural structures, such as royal tombs or religious temples. Etymology The word Sphinx comes from the Greek Sphinx, associated by folk etymology with the verb sphigo, meaning to squeeze, to tighten up. This name may be derived from the fact that lions kill their prey by strangulation, biting the throat of prey and holding them down until they die. However, the historian Susan Wise Bauer suggests that the word sphinx was instead a Greek corruption of the Egyptian name Shesepank, which meant living image, and referred rather to the statue of the sphinx which was carved out of living rock, rock that was a contiguous part of the stony body of the earth, shaped but not cut away from its original source, then to the beast itself. Egypt. The largest and most famous sphinx is the Great Sphinx of Giza, situated on the Giza Plateau, adjacent to the Great Pyramids of Giza, on the west bank of the Nile River. The Sphinx is located southeast of the pyramids. While the date of its construction is not known for certain, the general consensus among Egyptologists is that the head of the Great Sphinx bears the likeness of the pharaoh Khafre, dating it to between 2600 and 2500 BC. However, a fringe minority of late 20th century geologists have claimed evidence of water erosion in and around the Sphinx enclosure, which would prove that the Sphinx predates Khafre at around 10,000 to 5,000 BC, a claim that is sometimes referred to as the Sphinx water erosion hypothesis 
but which has little support among Egyptologists and contradicts other evidence. What names their builders gave to these statues is not known. At the Great Sphinx site, a 1400 BC inscription on a stele belonging to the 18th dynasty pharaoh Thutmos, the fourth lists the names of three aspects of the local sun deity of that period, Kepera Re Atum. Many pharaohs had their heads carved atop the guardian statues for their tombs to show their close relationship with the powerful solar deity Sekhmet, a lioness. Besides the Great Sphinx, other famous Egyptian sphinxes include one bearing the head of the pharaoh Hatshepsut, with her likeness carved in granite, which is now in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, and the Alabaster Sphinx of Memphis, currently located within the open-air museum at that site. The theme was expanded to form great avenues of guardian sphinxes lining the approaches to tombs and temples, as well as serving as details atop the posts of flights of stairs to very grand complexes. 900 sphinxes with ram heads, Creos sphinxes, believed to represent Amon, were built in Thebes, where his cult was strongest. At Karnak, each Creos sphinx is fronted by a full-length statue of the pharaoh. The task of these sphinxes was to hold back the forces of evil. The Great Sphinx has become an emblem of Egypt, frequently appearing on its stamps, coins, and official documents. In March 2023, a limestone sphinx was discovered at the Dendera Temple Complex. This sphinx, which is depicted with a slight grin and dimples, is thought to be made in the image of the Roman Emperor Claudius. Europe, the revived Mannerist Sphinx of the late 15th century, is sometimes thought of as the French Sphinx. Her coiffed head is erect, and she has the breasts of a young woman. Often she wears eardrops and pearls as ornaments. Her body is naturalistically rendered as a recumbent lioness, such sphinxes were revived when the grotesque or grotesque decorations of the unearthed Domus Aurea of Nero were brought to light in late 15th century Rome, and she was incorporated into the classical vocabulary of arabesque designs that spread throughout Europe in engravings during the 16th and 17th centuries. Sphinxes were included in the decoration of the loggia of the Vatican Palace by the workshop of Raphael, 1515-20, which updated the vocabulary of the Roman grotesque. The first appearances of sphinxes in French art are in the school of Fontainebleau in the 1520s and 1530s, and she continues into the late Baroque style of the French Regence, 1715 to 1723. From France, she spread throughout Europe, becoming a regular feature of the outdoors decorative sculpture of 18th century palace gardens, as in the Upper Belvedere Palace in Vienna, Sans Souci Park in Potsdam, La Granja in Spain, Branicki Palace in Białystok or the late Rococo examples in the grounds of the Portuguese Qualuz National Palace of perhaps the 1760s, with ruffs and clothed chests ending with a little cape. Sphinxes are a feature of the neoclassical interior decorations of Robert Adam and his followers, returning closer to the undressed style of the grotesque. They had an equal appeal to artists and designers of the Romanticism and subsequent symbolism movements in the 19th century. Most of these sphinxes alluded to the Greek sphinx and the myth of Oedipus rather than the Egyptian, although they may not have wings. Greece. In the Bronze Age, the Hellenes had trade and cultural contacts with Egypt, 
Before the time that Alexander the Great occupied Egypt, the Greek name Sphinx was already applied to these statues. The historians and geographers of Greece, such as Herodotus, wrote extensively about Egyptian culture. There was a single Sphinx in Greek mythology, a unique demon of destruction and bad luck. Apollodorus describes the Sphinx as having a woman's face, the body and tail of a lion, and the wings of a bird. Pliny the Elder mentions that Ethiopia produces plenty of sphinxes, with brown hair and breasts, corroborated by 20th century archaeologists. Stadius describes her as a winged monster, with pallid cheeks, eyes tainted with corruption, plumes clotted with gore and talons on livid hands. Sometimes the wings are specified to be those of an eagle, and the tail to be serpent-headed. According to Hesiod, the Sphinx was a daughter of Orthrus and an unknown she, either the Chimera, Echidna, or Cedo. According to Apollodorus and Lassus, she was a daughter of Echidna and Typhon. The Sphinx was the emblem of the ancient city-state of Chios and appeared on seals and the obverse side of coins from the 6th century BC until the 3rd century AD. Riddle of the Sphinx The Sphinx is said to have guarded the entrance to the Greek city of Thebes, asking a riddle to travelers to allow them passage. The exact riddle asked by the Sphinx was not specified by early tellers of the myth, and was not standardized as the one given below until late in Greek history. It was said in late lore that Hera or Ares sent the Sphinx from her Ethiopian homeland. The Greeks always remembered the foreign origin of the Sphinx, to Thebes in Greece, where she asked all passers-by the most famous riddle in history. Which creature has one voice and yet becomes four-footed and two-footed and three-footed? She strangled and devoured anyone who could not answer. Oedipus solved the riddle by answering, Man, who crawls on all fours as a baby, then walks on two feet as an adult, and then uses a walking stick in old age. By some accounts, but much more rarely, there was a second riddle. There are two sisters. One gives birth to the other, and she, in turn, gives birth to the first. Who are the two sisters? The answer is, day and night, both words, Emira and Nux, respectively, are feminine in ancient Greek. This second riddle is also found in a Gascon version of the myth and could be very ancient. Bested at last, the Sphinx then threw herself from her high rock and died. Or, in some versions, Oedipus killed her. An alternative version tells that she devoured herself. In both cases, Oedipus can therefore be recognized as a liminal or threshold figure, helping effect the transition between the old religious practices, represented by the death of the Sphinx and the rise of the new Olympian gods. The Riddle in Popular Culture In Jean Cocteau's retelling of the Oedipus legend, The Infernal Machine, the Sphinx tells Oedipus the answer to the riddle in order to kill herself so that she did not have to kill any more, and also to make him love her. He leaves without ever thanking her for giving him the answer to the riddle. The scene ends when the Sphinx and Anubis ascend back to the heavens. There are mythic, anthropological, psychoanalytic, and parodic interpretations of the riddle of the Sphinx and of Oedipus's answer to it. Sigmund Freud describes the question of where babies come from as a riddle of the Sphinx. Numerous riddle books use the Sphinx in their title or illustrations. Romania 
Sphinxul is a natural rock formation in the Buchegi Natural Park, which is in the Buchegi Mountains of Romania. This rock formation is named for its resemblance to the Sphinx of Giza and is located at an altitude of 2,216 meters, 7,270 feet, within the Babel complex of rock formations. Asia a composite mythological being with the body of a lion and the head of a human being is present in the traditions, mythology, and art of South and Southeast Asia. Variously known as Purusamarga, Sanskrit, human animal, Purushamirugam, Tamil, human animal, Naravirala, Sanskrit, human cat, in India, or as Narasimha, Sanskrit, human lion, in Sri Lanka, Manusiha or Manutiha, Pali, human lion, in Myanmar, and Narasimha from Pali, human lion, a variation of the Sanskrit Narasimha, or Thipi Narasimha, man lion deity, or Noranair in Thailand. Although, just like the Narasimha, she, he has a head of a lion and the body of a human. In contrast to the sphinxes in Egypt, Mesopotamia, and Greece, of which the traditions largely have been lost due to the discontinuity of the civilization, the traditions related to the Asian sphinxes are very much alive today. The earliest artistic depictions of sphinxes from the South Asian subcontinent are to some extent influenced by Hellenistic art and writings. These hail from the period when Buddhist art underwent a phase of Hellenistic influence. Numerous sphinxes can be seen on the gateways of Barhut Stupa, dating to the 1st century BC. In South India, the sphinx is known as Purusamarga, Sanskrit, or Purushamirugam, Tamil, meaning human animal. It is found depicted in sculptural art in temples and palaces, where it serves an apotropaic purpose, just as the sphinxes in other parts of the ancient world. It is said by the tradition to take away the sins of the devotees when they enter a temple and to ward off evil in general. It is therefore often found in a strategic position on the Gopuram or temple gateway or near the entrance of the sanctum sanctorum. The Purusamurga plays a significant role in daily as well as yearly ritual of South Indian Hindu temples. In the Shoda Shah Upakara, or 16 honors ritual, performed between one and six times at significant sacred moments through the day, it decorates one of the lamps of the Diparadhana, or lamp ceremony. And in several temples, the Purusa Marga is also one of the vahana, or vehicles, of the deity during the processions of the Brahmatsava, or festival. In Kanyakumari district, in the southernmost tip of the Indian subcontinent, during the night of Maha Shivaratri, devotees run 75 kilometers while visiting and worshipping at 12 Shiva temples. This Shiva autumn, or running for Shiva, is performed in commemoration of the story of the race between the Purusha Miragam and Bhima, one of the Pandavas of the Hindu epic Mahabharata. The Indian conception of a sphinx that comes closest to the classic Griaco Roman idea is the Sharabha and Gandabarunda, two mythical creatures, part lion, part human, part mammal, and part bird and the form of Sharabha that god Shiva took on and fought with the god Vishnu as Narasimha and Shiva, as Sharabha was killed by Vishnu as Gandabarunda in the form of Narashima when Narashima killed Hiranyakashipu. In Sri Lanka and India, the Sphinx is known as Narasimha, or human lion. As a Sphinx, it has the body of a lion and the head of a human being, and is not to be confused with Narasimha, the fourth incarnation of the deity Vishnu. This avatara or incarnation of Vishnu has a human body and the head of a lion, 
and Vishnu as Narashima killed Hiranyakashipu. The Sphinx Narasimha is part of the Buddhist tradition and functions as a guardian of the northern direction and also was depicted on banners. In Burma, Myanmar, the Sphinx-like statue with a human head and two lion hindquarters is known as Manusiha, Manuthiha. It is depicted on the corners of Buddhist stupas, and its legends tell how it was created by Buddhist monks to protect a newborn royal baby from being devoured by ogresses. Nora Nair, Nora Singha, and Tep Nora Singha are three of the names under which the Sphinx is known in Thailand. They are depicted as upright walking beings with the lower body of a lion or deer and the upper body of a human. Often they are found as female-male pairs. Here too, the Sphinx serves a protective function. It also is enumerated among the mythological creatures that inhabit the ranges of the sacred mountain Himapan. Freemasonry The Sphinx imagery has historically been adopted into Masonic architecture and symbolism. Among the Egyptians, Sphinxes were placed at the entrance of the temples to guard their mysteries by warning those who penetrated within that they should conceal a knowledge of them from the uninitiated. Champollion said that the Sphinx became successively the symbol of each of the gods. The placement of the Sphinxes expressed the idea that all the gods were hidden from the people and that the knowledge of them, guarded in the sanctuaries, was revealed to initiates only. As a Masonic emblem, the Sphinx has been adopted as a symbol of mystery, and as such often is found as a decoration sculptured in front of Masonic temples or engraved at the head of Masonic documents. Similar hybrid creatures with feline features. Gopaityosha. The Persian Gopat, or Gopaityosha, is another creature that is similar to the Sphinx, being a winged bull or lion with human face. The Gopat have been represented in ancient art of Iran since late second millennium BC, and was a common symbol for dominant royal power in ancient Iran. Gopats were common motifs in the art of Elamite period, Luristan, north and northwest region of Iran in Iron Age, and Achaemenid art, and can be found in texts such as the Bundahitian, the Dadistan e Denig, the Minog e Krad, as well as in collections of tales, such as the Madakan e Yushtfaryan, and in its Islamic replication, the Marzubanama. Lovenmensch figurine, the 32,000-year-old Aurignacian Lovenmensch figurine, also known as Lion Human, is the oldest known anthropomorphic statue discovered in the Hollensteinstadel, a German cave in 1939. Manticore, the Manticore, early Middle Persian, Mardiakor or Martikwar, means man-eater, is a Persian legendary hybrid creature and another similar creature to the Sphinx. Narasimha, Narasimha, human lion, is an incarnation, avatara, of Vishnu in Hinduism, in the Dashavatara of Vishnu, who takes the form of half-man slash half-Asiatic lion, having a human torso and lower body, but with a lion-like face and claws, and in this avatara, Vishnu killed Hiranyakashipu as Narasimha, and save the world from chaos in Hindu mythology. Without feline features. In ancient Assyria, bas reliefs of Shedu bulls with the crowned bearded heads of kings guarded the entrances of temples. Many Greek mythological creatures who are archaic survivals of previous mythologies with respect to the classical Olympian mythology, like the centaurs, are similar to the Sphinx. <laughs>